this is our CAM triangle. This was developed by uh, my director, Dana Tesse. She's rad. Um, and how we do work within the CAM org. Uh, so it begins by identifying and capturing knowledge. Um, and that includes feedback. And what that is, is we go out, we look for the commonly recurring processes, the commonly recurring questions, the type of things, maybe there's a new product launching, and that we need to capture that information. And it's kind of based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, where the thing at the bottom, everything else is built on when we get all the way up. So in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it starts with like food, anything physiological, and ends with self-actualization. So organizational learning and self-actualization are basically the same thing. Um, so everything is built on top of one another. And then from there, from identifying and capturing, we move up to storing knowledge. So putting it in the right format, finding the right place for it, like what's gonna work with the people that we're building it for. And then we move on to knowledge sharing, getting it out to them, making sure they know how to use the tool, making sure they know that it's accessible. And then we see them using it. And then we, we get collect feedback on that use. Was it right? Was it correct? Is there anything that needs to be tweaked? And then from there, once it becomes part of like our common wisdom of the company, we build on that. So I'm, an example of this in action is um, knowledge management falls within the support organization. And if we have a new product coming down the pipeline, there's a team that liaises with product and they feed the information to our support training team about what they need to build. So they're identifying, capturing that information from product. From there, the uh, support training team builds a bridge course. So that's a tool that we use as bridge. And that, so they store the knowledge in the right place. And then they give it to our support organization, our, our frontline staff, our customer service, who then use it to answer questions from our, pro, um, not parliamentarians, from our merchants. From there, depending on, we collect feedback from our merchants about what areas of the product are they having friction or difficulty with. And these people who first identified and captured that information go and do deep dives into our support tickets and look for that information and then feed that back to product in an effort to mitigate um, the types of friction that people are having in our product. So not only are we trying to train people to better answer questions um, that our merchants are having, but we're also trying to feed that information to product so that doesn't even happen in the first place, so that they can fix some of the technical issues that we're going into.